Quentin Brown here with you again and in this tutorial we're going to do some of the more advanced plugins that I get a lot of requests to show people how to use. So I'm just going to log in quickly. Once again we go to public HTML. Now I put all my blog information in a folder. It's very important to stay organized when you're blogging and make sure you have everything organized so you can get them easier. I actually put all my plugins in my plugins folder. I have all the plugins I've ever downloaded here, but the ones I upload to my site all the time, I just put in a plugins folder, drag it over, and it will upload all the plugins for me. As you notice also in here, I've put a copy of this right sidebar that I had in here because it will now retain all the information from the editing that we've done. So next time I want to set up a blog the same, I'll just drag it into the themes plugin and I won't have to do all that editing again. I've actually loaded all the plugins. You'll notice I've taken out a Kismet too because I don't use filters anymore for my uh, people who comment on my blog. I put in a thing called Cryptograph. So let's just do that one first. So it's in options. It's under Cryptograph. And you just fill out all the options. You can do, use whatever you like. Just read through the plugin tutorial. And all we have to do is place this tag in our theme. So we go to presentation, just like we did before, theme editor. But this time we want to go to comments. And we just paste that plugin down the bottom here under where it says form V and update the file. What I need to do now is log out, go to comments and go down the bottom. And as you can see now, to enter a comment, they have to actually put in that code. And that means it will stop a lot of spam because most spam is put in by robots and not by people. So it'd be just a matter of typing in COKU and that would accept the comments. So it means you get a lot more comments. You get rid of probably 99% of your spam. So let's just go back and log in. Let's go and do the next plugin, which is social bookmarking. Now, unfortunately, what a lot of people do when they do social bookmarking is they put in everything. Very important not to do that. And we'll just update that now. So now, as you can see here, we have all these social bookmarking sites which people can log in. And if you make a good post, they so will add it to the social networking. And that's one of the great things about blogging. And so that's the social bookmarking tag. Let's go set up our contact form. Actually, the first thing we need to do before we do that is set up a contact page. So we just go to write and write page. And we just put in here contact. Obviously, if you're making a site for a company, they would like their own contact form. And then it's just a matter of going to contact form. And you will need to fill in this information however you want your contact form to look. Then we go to documentation. And by going down the bottom here is where we want to get the code for it. And here's the code here. Control copy. Go back to manage. Go to your contact form and go edit. And instead of putting it in the visual area, we need to put this one in the code. So you could actually write up a whole lot of information above the form. And then when you're ready to put in the code, just paste it in. Go save. Just go to page order to make sure WordPress put it in the right place. I want it down the bottom. Click to order pages. Now if we go to our 
site and do a refresh. As you can see, we now have a contact page. And our contact page has a nice form in it. As I said, you could have written some more information in the post and put in a whole lot of extra information if you wanted. The reason this contact form is a good one is it asks them to verify by writing in, is fire hot or cold? If they put in hot, then again, they'll submit the form, so it stops a lot of spam. Another great plugin is this PodPress plugin, and basically it allows us to add all sorts of data. Basically, when you come, you go to the general settings, and if you use things like iTunes or anything like that, have any media at all, audio, video, this is a great plugin for it. So as you can see, it's all listed there. You just follow through. Uh, I don't like it on the footer. I'll update that. And then in your post, you'll be able to add a video. So let's just go write a post. I'll show you quickly how to use it. And we'll just call this test video. And this is a test video. And then we come down here and we go to our add media. And we type in the location of the file. As you can see, it already found that it was a flash file. So let's just move it down a minute. And we can type in what it's called. Good time. We'll do an auto detect. Didn't find anything. 320 by 240. And all we've got to do then is take this code here and put it in our post. Control V. Do a publish. Might put it under video. Do a publish. Go to our blog where our post is. And here we are on our page and here's our video. All we have to do is click. Now you can upload videos into your web browser. Let me just pause that for a second. And as you can see, I'm logged into my site. Quite often what I'll do is I will go in here and create a directory and call this one audio. and create another one called video. Then any audios I have, I upload into here and any videos. So then you'll just reference it by going http colon your website dot com slash audio slash the name of the file. And that will give you the ability to put in your videos and your audios into the site. and. Here it is playing. So that's PodPress, very easy. Let's just go back and have a look at some of the other plugins quickly. All in one SEO pack, again under options, and all in one SEO. We'll be doing the feed burner later when we do RSS. So you can put in a home title, home description, keywords, etc. into that tag. And you can actually allow it to do it all automatically for you, where it takes all the information out of the post for you. When you manage your post or write a post, and that video, up the top, you can see it says test video advanced. However, now we can go down here and call it something else. Advanced. We could put in a description. And we could put in a bunch of keywords as well. And then we would just save that post again. 
And now if we do an uh, F5, as you can see, it's got rid of that old tag that it had up the top and given it a lot better one. That's a way to do some advanced CEO work. So this is Quinn Brown thanking you for doing this tutorial.